Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone I am Miss Ina Tarikatul Murakomba I would like to tell you about Narrative text Yeah, that's right, narrative text Okay, before it I wanna ask you Did you like reading? Hmm Did you like reading? I hope you you always like reading. What kinds of book do you like? Hmm. Hmm. What kinds of book do you like? And if you like reading the story, let's mention some story that you know. What story? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, what's that? And what's that? Have you ever heard about this story? This is Rawa Pening. Uh, oops, yeah. No, Rawa Pening, no. This is Purbasari. And what's that? Hmm? 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 Jakarta Ruk? Hmm, no. This is Malingguna. That's right. This is Malingguna. Okay. Yups, the story called Narrative Text. What before it? What's that narrative text? A text that tells about an imaginative story in the past. In the past. The key is in the past. The social function of narrative text is to entertain and to teach people moral lesson with a story. So, this text to entertain okay do you got it to entertain the language features of narrative text is adverb of time conjunction simple past tense and past continuous tense okay and this is the tree mm. Kira-kira apa ya? Ada legend. And then cocktail. Meat. Table. Fire tail. And etc. Yeah. This is the types of narrative text, guys. There are... Uh, Five or more the te- types of narrative text. Yeah, there are legend, folk tale, myth, fable, fairy tale, and etc. The generic structure of narrative text. Now I will explain the generic structure of narrative text. This example of narrative text is the legend of rawa pening this is there is three part of general structure the legend of rawa pening once upon a time there was a little poor boy come into a little village he was hung very hungry and weak he knocked at every door and asked for some food but nobody cared about him nobody want to help the little boy mm, this is the part of orientation okay in the part of orientation what what the purpose of orientation the purpose is to introduce 
the characters and information about time and place the time in this tag is once upon a time okay the place is come into a little village okay do you got it okay next complication complication to tell the problem of the story and how the character solves them the complication in this text is finally a generous woman helped him she gave him shelter and a meal when the boy want to leave this old woman give a lesson a big wooden mortar for pounding rice she reminded him please remember please remember if there is a food you must save yourself and lesson as a uh, put the boy was happy and thanked to old woman he continued his, his journey while he was passing through the village he saw many people gathering on the field the boy came closer and saw a thick sack stuck in the ground people challenged each other to pull out the stitch Everybody tried, but nobody succeeded. Can I try? asked the little boy. The crowd laughed mockingly. The boy wanted to try his luck, so he had stepped forward and pulled out the stick. He could do it very easily. Everybody was dumbfounded. This is the part of complication. What well, the purpose of complication? Yes, the purpose is to tell the problem of the story and how the character solve. Okay, next the last one is resolution. What well, the purpose of resolution? The purpose is to the problem in the story solve were better or worse. Okay, this part resolution is suddenly from the hole left by stick water spouted out it did not stop until the flood the village and no one was safe from the water except the little boy and the generous old woman who gave his shelter and meal and as he told him he used the lesson as a port and pick up the old woman the whole village become a hug like it is a snow as raw opening like in Saltiga Central Java Indonesia okay this is the part of exercise for you guys okay I hope you uh, uh, do it with happy <laughs> okay exercise for reading Read the narrative text about the legend of the Lake Toba and complete the following question. Okay, I will send the question with you, but you have to read it. The legend of Lake Toba. There was a fisherman who lived in Bataland. His name was Batara Guru Sahala. When he was angling, he chopped a fish. He was surprised to find the fish because the fish can talk and it began to set it free. He did accordingly. After getting free, he f he, the fish changed into a beautiful woman and Sahala fell in love with her. Sahala asked to ha her to marry him and the woman received him. Wow. However, she asked his promise to not to tell anyone the secret of that she was once a fish. They were very happily married and got two daughters. It was a pity on Sahala. But one day, when he got very angry with his daughters, he forgot his promise and he broke it. Wow. He told his daughters that they were adopters of a fish. His wife couldn't 
forgive him. And suddenly the earth began to shake and the volcano started to erupt. The earth cracked and formed in a big hole. People say the hole became a like toba. Okay, answer the question by choosing the right one. Okay, guys. Number one, what does the text tell us about? The story of Lake Toba, the story of a fisherman, the story of a family, the story of region, and you choose it. Have to choose it. <laughs> Number two, what the general structure of the first paragraph? Okay, this is the first paragraph. Number three, who is the main character of this story? Okay, exercise for speaking. Please find out the narrative text, then you have to retell the story by your own words. Okay, guys? Okay, enough for me and thank you very much for your nice attention. I hope you are always in Allah's protection and always help. I mean, I mean, your bell, I mean. Allahumma fi'ilawami tariq wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you.